Hydrofracking New York, From One New Yorker to Another, by Mike Varley. Fracking 101 and Water Quality Depending on where you live in New York State, you may or may not have seen the term hydrofracking in the news, at school, or even on the way to the supermarket. Even among those that have heard the phrase, knowledge of the specifics is often sparse. Nevertheless, decisions are being made right now with limited public understanding that will shape both the character and countryside of our great state for decades. So to begin, what is hydrofracking? Hydraulic fracturing is a relatively new mining process by which gas is harvested from shale deposits deep below the Earth's surface. Once the drills reach the shale layer, some seven to 10,000 feet deep, the drilling turns sideways for a mile or more, creating long tunnels within the shale. From there, highly pressurized, chemically treated water is shot down the well, creating tiny fractures in the shale that release the gas like champagne bubbles to the surface. New York is a coveted location for hydrofracking because it sits atop the Marcellus Shale Formation, an internationally prized gas reservoir that lies below Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and the southern tier of our state. Detractors of hydrofracking cite concerns such as water pollution and traffic congestion. Boosters counter with claims of job opportunities and U.S. energy independence. Let's start with water pollution and delve a bit further into the fracking process. In hydrofracking, quantity is valued over quality, as unlike conventional drilling, the gas is not contained in mother load reservoirs, but evenly distributed within the shale. That means it pays to drill as many wells as possible, each attached to a central harvesting pad. Each well requires 2 to 10 million gallons of water to function, with 20 to 100,000 gallons of fracking chemicals within this water. What chemicals are the gas companies using? Thanks to the Energy Policy Act of 2005, we can't say for sure, as loopholes within the bill exempt fracking fluid from existing regulations and allow gas companies to keep their cocktails a trade secret. Congressional hearings have brought to light some of the chemicals, and they include diesel fuel, xylene, benzene, toluene, and ethyl benzene, all known cancer agents and health complicators. What's more, Marcellus shale is naturally radioactive, Waste tested from traditional vertical drilling of Marcellus Shale was found to contain 267 times the EPA recommended levels of radiation. It's estimated that some 400,000 wells may be drilled into the Marcellus Shale during the course of its development. Using an average of 5 million gallons of water per well, that equates to 2 trillion gallons of contaminated water. Buffalonians that's Niagara Falls running uninterrupted for 38 days. Syracuse folks, that amounts to more than 57 Onondaga lakes. On the plus side, the lake might not seem so polluted anymore. As it stands, New York State has no definitive plans or approved facilities to deal with this waste. 